I don't have my digital table, so I'll do this quickly with my cell phone. So the function is from R2 to R, and this is the function. And you guys were asked to define the continuity domain. The problem is going to be at 0, 0, right? Outside that, obviously, the function is a polynomial division. Okay? So the problem is at 0, 0. So we take one path, let's say y equals mx, but we could choose another path, okay? And what? So y equals mx, my cat is, she wants to participate. Um, the limit, she wants to participate. Uh, the limit from x to zero, we replace y by mx, okay, simple calculations, and we get this, I made x the subject, right, and we got this, okay, and it will be 0 minus 0 uh, over 1 plus m, so that will be 0, okay? Okay, so that means what? If there is a limit, it will be zero, right? So now we have to use delta epsilon limits, what is usually called the definition, okay? For all that uh, delta, there is an epsilon positive where when x minus a, oh, something missing here, right? x minus a, uh, smaller than epsilon, right? f of x minus b, it will be smaller than delta, okay? Okay, let's see that again. Okay, one sec, you can see my cat. Okay, roll delta, I did not forget the epsilon this time. <laughs> Okay, this is the function, okay, this is the, the definition, okay, we are going to use uh, epsilons and deltas. Okay, some mistake here, forget it. Um, so we get this, y minus 2x squared. Um, and this is small, now we have to, to get something bigger than this. If we add, this will be bigger, okay maturation okay we are dealing with maturation here now i'm going to break this into two so it's the addition of the first one to the second one okay so let's work with the first one absolute value of y to the power of three so this is a product right so we can take y out we get y to the power of 2 and here this is a maturation so we can add x squared cancels and we get only this okay so the left side is done let's take the right side what is the right side so the right side is 2x squared y squared I took 2y squared out, right? Um, absolute value of a power of 2 is, is the same. I, I should put uh, maybe... Uh, well, it's the same as 2, okay? Okay, and this is smaller. Now I'm adding y squared. I'm, I'm doing a maturation, right? So I can add on the numerator, okay? Uh, we can't add on denominator, otherwise we are doing something smaller, okay? We have always to make something bigger, okay? And we got 2y squared, okay? So far, so good. So this will be the maturation, okay? So we need that y, uh, y to be smaller than epsilon over 2, and we are going to, we need... We, uh, I did not write here, but I'm 
epsilon it will be something this will probably okay so we are going to do this okay an addition we because we 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 need only one epsilon okay so we are going to do to break epsilon into two parts so we need one to be smaller than this one and the second one to be smaller than this one small calculations we get this okay so f of x has to be smaller than epsilon so we need we need this to happen okay so we take delta it will be the minimum of epsilon over 2 square root of epsilon over 2 and that proves that the limit exists is equal to 0 and that proves continuity sorry for this video made in a hurry with these pool tools but it's done